Hello, this is Palico Padge, and welcome to another episode of Padge Plays Indie Edition with the game Carcassonne. Carcassonne? Carcassonne? God knows. But anyway, this is the digital version of the very, very popular game, uh, which in physical form, I believe is one of the best sellers ever as far as board games are concerned. Now, generally speaking, I am a very big board game fan, but this is one of the titles which I've always been on the fence about buying because I'm not sure whether I'd like it or not. And then this was on, I think it was free with Epic Games, one of the giveaways they were doing. And it was this and Ticket to Ride with my own in the physical form anyway. And I thought, why not? Let's give it a whirl. If I like the digital version, then that will definitely push me over the edge to go and buy the physical version. Uh, it seems relatively simple. I've had a few playthroughs. Uh, I have won a few of them. I've only just got my head around on why I was winning those because the instructions in any Asmodee digital game is terrible as far as reading is concerned. In the tutorials, although it t takes you through where things are placed and playing the game in general, it, the placement of the actual tiles is simplified to the point where you, you just know where to click. Uh, the reason behind the point scoring can get a little bit complicated at times, which is why I've had to have a few games to play. But I'm going to stop talking. We're going to get through... Hopefully I'm going to win, or else there will be a Padge Plays Replay Edition at some point with this game. Uh, but I like it. It's it's an interesting digital take. I'm just going to play with the two extras. Um, interesting digital take on the physical game. Now, as you can see, there are quite a few expansions. I have none of them. Never mind. I'm, if I like it and they are at a reasonable price, I may buy them and again bring this back to the channel. But for the moment, we are playing the vanilla version of this game. Um, now, I'm not sure, again, because I've never played the physical version, on whether playing with fields is part of the physical game or not. It was turned off originally when I was first played and I've left it off since. It would appear to over... I wouldn't say overcomplicate, but complicate the game more than just playing it through without them on. So I am going to leave that. But we have got dead tiles on and uh, remaining tiles list is off because I think it's a lot more interesting to just react to the tile you're being given as opposed to know what's coming up. So uh, let's crack on, shall we? Uh, again, I believe this is up to a four-player game. I'm only playing with two extra compo uh, computer opponents at the moment. I might up it next time around, but let's crack on. Right, so aim of the game, as far as I can tell, is to make either cities up or long roads which connect to cities. The longer the road, the more points you get. And the way you claim these cities or roads is by putting a meeple in there. You are given six, seven, sorry, meeples initially to start. And you only get those meeples back when a road is completed or a city is founded. Uh, the way you found a city is by closing one of these off. So for instance, if my tile was like this tile up here, that would close the city off. But because the yellow player has put a meeple in there, they would claim the city and get the points not me because i finished it off the only other thing to keep an eye on out, eye out for are churches churches generally speaking are a tile upon themselves although they can have roads leading up to them and they get more points when they are surrounded by more tiles so you have the possibility of getting nine points for a full tile set around that church or you get less points towards the end and although you accumulate points throughout the game by completing cities and roads and churches you also get points at the end for unfinished cities and roads so you don't necessarily have to complete them all within the game although generally speaking that is the quicker way to be able to get your meeples back in order to claim more cities and roads i hope that all made sense that's how i've picked it up let's crack on shall we i mean at this point the only person i can really help is him by putting it there so uh, we are going to start a fresh one there i think and we'll claim the city or the town or whatever you want to call it i think personally they look a bit more like dueling stages of, of medieval things medieval things classy right so <laughs> right where do i put this next tile it's purely a road tile this road hasn't been claimed yet so if i were to put that on there it means I'm going to get two points for it straight away. Now, if, say, for instance, there was a tile here which had been claimed by uh, another person and then another tile was filled in there, we'd both get the same points for the road because we've claimed it at different parts. But if you were to connect a tile onto an existing claimed road or 
town or city, then you don't get the opportunity to be able to put your people down because it's already claimed and connected to someone else's. Again, hope that all makes sense. We're going to pop a meeple down there. Come at me. What are you, black? Come at me, black. So this is a... Okay, so these are cities. This is a town. As you can see, most towns have at least two coming off them. This one has three. So when this tile was placed down, the computer-controlled opponent could have put their meeple down on any road. But they can't put all three meeples down to claim all three roads. You only get cho the choice of one per tile. Uh, mm, all right, so... So, so, so. Not a lot we can do with that. Other than probably starting a new town which is a bit awkward I mean if I put it onto there and we claim that side if these get me me meted up we're going to get double points again that's how I took it bastard absolute bastard that's my fault <laughs> right so uh, oh Not useful whatsoever. Fantastic. Uh, let's 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 start a fresh one. I'm not going to give anyone else any points. Uh, really doesn't matter which way I place it. Uh, I will claim the left side only because it's bigger, so I've got more space to expand into it. Bastard! He's done it again. Right, okay, well, at this point, uh, I suppose I better bring this around here, make my road a little bit longer. Oh, that would have been a good one here to have then. Uh, long, long, long. Okay, so let's pop you down there. So all we need to do is put a town on the other end, if we were so lucky to get a town piece. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well, I've only got three meeples left. It'd be useful to have a meeple back and to get some points on the board so let's do that huzzah we're not last that's probably the peak of this playthrough oh we got lots of points there right so what can we do i don't really want the black guy to be able to hmm he might well do profit off my road, which will be very annoying. Uh, let's go. Let's go. There's not really a lot to play here. We'll, we'll go for this one. We'll loop around the side and we'll claim that road, I think. Ding dong. Oh, he's trying to aim to get... Onto my road. Alright, that's fairly open. I kind of want to finish this one off if I can, so... Let's do that. Three meeples left. There's not a lot going road-wise. We'll pop it on there. I don't think that one's going to go anywhere. Unless we're very lucky. Haven't seen any churches yet. Which is quite unusual. Oh, he's claiming all the little towns. Cities. <laughs> oh, now the yellow's getting in on it. This is bad. Alright, so... If I was to put that there... Would that kill off that town, that city? Got to get, got to stop saying that. Um, 
See, this is where I fault a little by not being able to play this game a lot up to this point. I'm not sure whether there is a tile that exists which will allow us to continue the town and finish it off. At the moment, I've got two meeples dedicated to this city. So I don't really want to... You know what? Screw it. Let's put it down. We'll claim the road. No, we won't. We won't claim the road. There we go. Yeah, apparently there is. If it if we couldn't pull a tile down because it wouldn't fit, there'd be a big cross there. So that's good. It'd be handy if we could connect these up. Because that'd be a super duper. Uh... You see, I could continue this road. But he'll claim all my points if he connects it up. And there's no other way of doing it. So I just want the points for the road. Rather than giving him the points by allowing him to be able to connect it up. So let's continue this road here instead. It's all about little, ta uh, little, little cities, not towns, little cities. Ah, right, so a church. So we need to put it in the place where it's going to be surrounded by the most tiles so arguably it'd be this one here it doesn't matter which way we put it around some churches have roads leading up to them others don't so we'll pop that there pop you into there <clears throat> so we'll get some points towards the end of the game for that oh another church so he's just helped us out but in turn he's helped himself out uh right Right, right, right. I've only got one meeple left, so we could do with getting a meeple back. So let's finish this road off. And that road isn't going to be finished unless a church comes up. But someone's going to claim it when the church comes up because of it being are complete so we'll get hopefully we'll share the road with the black person right just a through road just a through road Right. I don't want to put it there. As much as I'd get nine points off it for doing it, if I do so, the black person is going to get points for their road. And uh, the uh, yellow person is going to get the nine points for his church as well. So at this point, I'm probably just best claiming a road somewhere or extending my road. Uh, let's extend this road. Seeing as I've got it already. Ah, so here we go. So this is the church with the... That makes no sense. Son of a bitch. He just killed off my long road. So I... I unless another church comes up, I can't do anything with that. Which is ridiculous. And there's no good place to be able to put this church. That's our best bet. It's our last meeple. So we're sort of not doing very well right now. We can't claim any more roads, which means we need to finish off our roads. The only way that's going to happen is if I happen to get a church with a, a path on here. But in turn, if the black person does it, they might put that there and cut off mine. This is not good. This is not good. Um, and they've cut off that one as well. So I'm not going to get that meeple back. 
That one's cut off, so I've lost two meeples there. Oh, dearie. Okay, uh, well, we're just going to have to extend around our church and hope for the best, I think. This is not a good playthrough. So. So, so, so. So, so, so. I just need to add it onto my own. It, it's my only meeple. I've got three which I can add on to right now, which is horrifying. So let's uh, let's put him onto there. Yeah, that'll do. I want to keep it away from that yellow one. This is not going well. Oh, got my point. And my meeple back. Thank God for that. They get nine points as well. So we are behind. We are quite a way behind right now. Yeah, let's just continue. I mean, there's nothing else worth claiming, surely. Anything? Again, I'm probably best just putting more ones around here for the time being. We can claim that road. I don't think it's going to make much difference at this point. See, my, my problem was I invested too much in this section here, so I've lost two meeples straight away. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Continue around here. I'm just not getting the, the tiles I need. This is bad. This is bad. Um, so I'm, I'm playing for points now. So let's pop that onto there. The issue is we're all going to be claiming this. Well, blue and black are going to be claiming this. And black at the moment is 10 points ahead of me. Which is not good. Oh, thank the Lord. Right, so let's pop that there. So we've got a meeple back. And we'll get 8 points off that, which is awesome. Oh, no, we won't get 8 points because we didn't have a meeple on it. Hey-ho, never mind. So, 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 so. I mean, I've got a meeple to play with. I think that city's dead. Is there anything I can add on to? Not which no one else has claimed. So let's just put it out of the way so can, can I be a dick about this and put it anywhere to block anyone else off I suppose I could have it there there's not many tiles left so let's put it there and just claim the points for that Okay, well, there's no little... Well, I can't complete any little towns anyway, even if I wanted to. So what do we do at this point? Do we add on to here, or do we add on to the road? I mean, that's worth two... I suppose the road's going to be worth more in the end, so we'll, we'll use that. Oh, 
and I get the last go with a church. So it's gonna have to be that one. And I've got no meeples. Awesome. This isn't good. This isn't good. Go on and hit me with it. So roads. So it's brought me up to about equal with everyone before their roads go on, <laughs> which isn't a good sign. I haven't got any incomplete cities other than that big one, which the black guy's going to get the uh, the money for anyway. So I think I might come second here, possibly. Then again, maybe not. Twenty-two, wow. Yeah, I'll take second. I'll take second. Which is, you know, I've played this, I think, like, three or four times before doing this recording. And I'm only just getting my head around it. So I'll, I'll take second. Now, th this is the issue when it comes to... That unlocks every time, I have no idea why. This is the issue when it comes to playing this game. I don't know the tiles, as I said before, enough to be able to know when I can screw someone over or uh, when they can potentially screw me over. Ta-da! And this is where playing the game more and more would, you would have thought, help you play in the long run. Now, whether this means that come me actually buying the physical version and playing it with friends and family, not I'd be under a uh, more of an advantage because they don't know the tiles and I do. I would presume so, which I think is the only downside to a game like this. Uh, obviously, it's procedurally generated because you can't decide what tiles you're going to get. But ultimately, it is a game which over time would become more strategic because of you knowing what's on the, the table in front of you and what's yet to come. But I suppose that's why you've got all these DLC packs to, to mix and match up uh, the gameplay as much as possible. But there you go. Second place. I'm all right with that. I thought I was going to be terribly, terribly last on that. Uh, there will be a replay edition. Probably I'll, I'll do it with four players, which is what you'd usually play the game with in ideal circumstances. And uh, maybe I'll look at the DLC packs at some point. But for now, thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy. Thank <laughs> you.